Hi, I'm Thomas Shang, and I will be presenting Philippians chapter 4, verse 11b through 13. I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have little, and I know what it is to have plenty. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of having plenty and of being in need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Can you tell us of a time when you needed more? More strength, more time, more anything? I can tell you that studying for finals and these big tests coming up for major grades in school, you need a lot of time to study for those big tests and if you want a good grade. And then if you run out of time, it's real hectic to get a good grade. And one time I stayed up about till two studying for a biology final that I had and I had to get a good grade in there to pass. And I needed more time to study and then have a good day the next day. Do you think people in general, just people in general, do you think that they live their lives in terms of always needing more or in terms of having enough? I think some of them live in they need more and because they don't really care that much that they don't have enough and they need or they want new things every time something new comes out. And some people like what they have and they stay that way. What do you think about this new craze where everybody wants the newest iPhone? Do you think that comes from uh, always needing more or having enough? I think it's needing more because one day when I was driving to school, I saw people waiting outside in the rain, waiting for the new iPhone. I was like, what is going on? When you see things like that, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel kind of depressed that they want it and they don't really need it if they have a phone that works and they want a new one. How do you feel that you are living in relationship to, to God? I feel really good about it, having Him next to me every step that I take and He can help me with everything. Including the grades you need on the test. So. Yes. What are some ways that we can show others that God is not a God of scarcity, but that He is a God of abundance. We can show that if we work at the food pantry and help these people that need food, and we can give them food that they need to survive. And it shows God is given and not scarcity. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you.